In this video, we will talk about optional chaining for objects. It's a huge help to solve some problems with objects. For example, let me show the problem, what usually we have. So let's imagine that we have some object user and uh, console. We want to lock some data. For example, username. Let's run. So we see we have undefined. It's okay, more or less. But let's imagine that we have address and uh, street, and we want to show street. Let's run. And what do we have? We have error. Why? Because we can we try to get street of undefined, and it's a problem. Now it looks even right now it looks not a big problem because of so you see this object and you can fix it by just checking you see that it's empty object so why do we call this street but usually what do we have we have function say hi for example and in this case let's try to do so we have some function and we just want call this function and uh, we already have problem because of we have an address because of by default we pass undefined and we, we can't get any value from undefined how we can solve this previously we needed to use such approach when it's user we need to check and uh, it's and operator we already covered this operator in the previous videos link to this video you can find in description we check if user exists and then we try to call user address we don't know is it or not now it, the problem was fixed but in case we need to call to get some deeper property we need to go deeper and uh, check if user address and uh, street exists. Another case, if we want to check if it's a function, for example, street and uh, let's call it get street, for example, it's calculated. And then just if we need to check if it's a function, we check if this function exists, then we can execute it. Let's run. Now it's undefined and we don't have error. It's expected behavior. But if you take a look on this code, it looks huge because all we need to copy this user, user address, user address get street, and if get street exists, then we execute. So recently in JavaScript, was added optional chaining operator. So let's take a look on the can I use site. I showed this site in the previous videos. The link will be in the description as well. So chaining operator, it's not available in all browsers right now. For example, Internet Explorer doesn't support it, but all other browsers more or less support. So it means that for some browsers you need to use polyfills. We'll talk about polyfills later, but anyway you need to be aware that in some browsers using this operator can break your code. So how it works? The same console log and we need user question mark dot address and that's it. This operator will check if this exists property. If not, it returns undefined. That's it. Let's run. Works. Then we can check the same get street. Let's run. And even we can try to execute. Let's try. Nothing happened. But we need to be careful because of, let's try to edit. For example, this one, let's run. Oh, 
Also, we can try to add this case. It will double check. Yes. So now we see that code is smaller because of we just checked if this property exists and if not, we just return undefined. Also, it works with square brackets notation. For example, team. Let's try. And it works. So dot or square brackets notation works the same with this operator. Also, we can use it for deleting some properties. For example, delete user street. We will check if user street exists and then we will delete it. Because of if we will try without, let's run. It's the same, but anyway, we need to check. But if it's this one, we will have error. So we need to check, always check if this property exists. And now problem is fixed.